Hi there, Tamara Doris, your Sacramento real estate professional, and today we're going to talk about the final walkthrough. Sounds like a good old western, huh? What is the final walkthrough, and when should you make the final walkthrough? Well, if you're buying a house, it's very important that before you sign escrow papers, preferably. Now, I have had clients where just because of timing, we waited until you know after signing, but before closing, but definitely before closing. Before you close your escrow, and hopefully before you sign your escrow, you and your agent want to visit the home that you're buying and do a final walkthrough inspection. The reason that this is so important, you know, a couple of things. Number one, you want to make sure that the condi the property condition is in the same um, the same condition that when you first made your offer. Um, even since the appraiser came and said everything is okay, something could have gone wrong. I once had someone go into a vacant home after appraisal, after home inspection, and steal the carpet. This is not good. So it's very important that you visit the home with your agent and make sure. You know, another example is once um, once something that was bolted down to the wall was missing, and it was a, a big mirror, and it had been it had been you know from far away, and the buyers took it with them. Well, anything that's bolted down, you know, also known as Real Estate Principles 101, if it's bolted to the property, it is a part of the property. It is considered real property. So shelving, um, mirrors that are bolted, chandeliers, things like that, it belongs with the property. And I know I've said this before. It's really important, though, that you do this final walkthrough and see if there's any other conditions because you want to make note of them. Because if you don't do this and you just close escrow and then, you know, a week after you move in, go, oh, gee, you know, this wasn't like this and this was supposed to be different. You really don't have a leg to stand on. So remember, once again, um, all the contracts that you sign, all the disclosures, all the forms, they're all for your protection to keep you out of trouble, to keep you from getting sued, and to protect your best interest. So don't forget to do your final walkthrough on the property before you sign escrow papers or certainly before escrow closes. If you have any questions about real estate in the Sacramento area, visit my website at www.buyinsacto.com. Have a great day. Bye-bye.